They say impossible could never be done But is it possible that I'll be the one? So any obstacle will be overcome With every chord that has never been sung So I tell them like Eh, I know it Eh, eh, I know it Eh, eh, I know that I'm here to stay But what's time? And where's here? You have X amount of minutes So yeah, it's been a while since my last arena video And my last video in general for those of you who didn't see my bad news video, long story short, my camera is damaged and I sent it off to get it repaired. So I'm currently unable to make video videos. So if you're wondering why the sound quality of this video is drastically different from the other videos, there's your reason. Anyways, I figure since I can't exactly review a battle until I get my camera back, I can at the very least give you all the rules of a rap battle. Granted, these rules aren't etched in stone or anything like that. It's just, after a long history of watching battles, I've noticed a few do's and don'ts and decided to share it with you all in hopes that you'll agree with these rules and that they would make for a better battling experience. I will say that I've already decided on what battle I'm going to review next. I've already reviewed a KOTD battle and a smack battle, so I figure, why not do a grind time battle? And the battle that interested me the most was Passwords vs. Philly Swain. So that'll be my next review. I picked that battle because there's a lot of things in that battle that needs to be discussed. But we'll get there when we get there. So, let's get to the rules. Rule number one. Respect your opponent. I've said this many times to the point where I shouldn't have to. A rap battle is a debate. And much like a debate, the same exact etiquette follows. This is a sport where the main goal is to insult your opponent, so already the atmosphere is suited for things to get hostile. But, if there is a mutual respect between opponents, it won't come to that. And to be fair, this is actually the only rule I need to address because if you respect your opponent, you won't need to follow the other rules because you'll already be following them. What I'm saying is that you and your opponent have come face to face in the ring and are after the same thing, and therefore all opponents you encounter should be received with the same exact level of respect. After the battle, dap it up. Win, lose, or draw, if you can maintain a mutual respect, then you've already won the real battle. Regardless of what we said and what we said in the past, that's still my fucking best friend. I don't care. Who, who, who won this one? It, it's all about respect and we're still, we're still yeah. tight no matter what. Number two, honor your agreements. If you agree to battle a certain time with a certain time limit and a certain amount of cash, then it's up to you to honor that agreement. Nine times out of ten, the sponsors of the battle or the host will have an established system for how a battle is to take place. If the rappers themselves desire to change things, then the host, yourself, and your opponent must come to an agreement. Because if there is no agreement, miscommunication will occur and then you're left with two angry rappers and a host that has no clue what's going on. And it looks very unprofessional. But that's only if all sides drop the ball. If you drop the ball and don't adhere to the agreement, be a man and tell the host and your opponent you messed up and work from there. If your opponent messed up, it's not your job to correct him. It's the host's job. So if your opponent violates the agreement, after the battle, or even in between rounds, bring it up that your opponent is in violation of the agreement. If the host is on top of his game, they'll make sure your opponent understands their violation and be quick to correct them. If you respect your opponent, you'll be willing to come to an agreement with them and be able to honor the agreement you had with them. No, no, nobody said no time. We just said we ain't cutting the boys off. We said two minutes and judge. You know that's true. Let's go. But you tried to play me and said I was scared or some other shit. So why not have it unlimited? You scared to have it unlimited. We, we agreed this on Twitter. Straight up, you know what the deal. Don't try to switch the last minute. You ain't sucker for you. Straight up. Number three. Do not talk while your opponent is rapping. This goes for the crowd as well as the rappers. This is a no-brainer, but sadly a lot of people don't adhere to this one. For the record, when I say talk, I'm not talking about verbal reactions. 
I'm talking about literally addressing your opponent verbally while they're rapping. For starters, it's disrespectful and it throws the battler off his game. As I've said before, a rap battle is a debate. Have you ever seen a debate where while one person was giving their presentation, the other was saying something? Of course not! Why? Because it looks sloppy and it's clearly a tactic to throw your opponent off their game. Even the best stage actors can become distracted. I recall not too long ago there was a YouTube video of Hugh Jackman addressing someone who still had their cell phone on during a stage play. No one is above distraction. So as a sign of respect for your opponent and yourself, shut up. This also goes for the crowd. It's okay to react. I've said this about moviegoers as well. When something funny is said, laugh. When something nice is said, ooh and ah. But do not shout out unless you're called to. Do not carry on a conversation on your cell phone. Do not address the battlers in the middle of their round. All of these things will ruin your battle viewing experience as well as hinder the battlers themselves. His homeboy keep talking while I'm rapping. Not cool. The contract said I can't hit this nigga. Not you. Number four. Do not go over time. Yet another no-brainer, but unfortunately this is again an occurring problem in the battle scene. If your time is two minutes, then rap for two minutes. I'd just like to say that for the record, if you go over the time limit in a battle, I consider that to be an automatic loss in my opinion. Why? Because it's a violation of the rules. What happens in a basketball game when the players violate the rules? That player suffers a penalty. The same should go for a rap battle. You are given a set time limit to state your case. As a rapper, you should be able to craft your argument within the time limit. And if you cannot, well then you're probably in the wrong sport. So for the respect of yourself, your opponent, the host, and rap battles in general, work within your time limit. If you want unlimited rounds, make a request for it and make sure your opponent is aware of your request. If the host is down for it, then you're good to go. If not, then it's not. If your opponent goes over his time limit, let him rap. It's not your job to remind them of the time limit. It's the host's job. Your job is simply just to rap. If the host is on top of his game, he'll cut your opponent off when it's time. If not, Talk with him after the battle or in between rounds. Either way, don't worry about it. Because the fans as well as the hosts know what's going on, so don't lose your cool. Follow the agreement and spit your round within the time limit you were given. Once again, if you can do that, you can at least maintain some self-respect and a respect for the craft. But it's fake looking up. Three Please minutes is up, man. I thought I was oh. finished. Number five. Don't catch feelings. One thing I don't understand about some battlers is the fact that they still have the audacity to still be offended during a rap battle. Understand something. A rap battle is about verbally abusing your opponent. When you get into a rap battle, everything you hold dear is fair game for your opponent. Your mom, your dad, your children, your wife, your girlfriend, your reputation, your physical appearance, all of it is fair game. And another thing, a good 80% of the material battlers have is completely fictitious, so why get mad at made up stuff? The only reason you would have to get mad at this stuff is if the stuff being addressed actually occurred in the way your opponent said it did. But even then, when you agree to do a rap battle, expect to be insulted. It'd be like agreeing to be roasted and then getting pissed off that the people are insulting you. In a rap battle, no one really means what they say and at the end of the day, it's all good. But by you catching feelings, you're showing that you're really not able to compete in this sport and you're not maintaining any self-respect. However, on the flip side, if you know there's something that might be said that might cause you to lose your cool, Address that with your opponent and explain it to them. For example, 
If someone close to you died and you'd rather not have them mentioned in a battle, you're more than welcome to tell your opponent that before the battle. Yo, as a sign of respect to me, could you not use this in your verse? Your opponent may or may not agree to it, and may even consider you to be lame, but he will respect you for coming to him before the battle rather than getting in his face during or after the battle about it. And who knows, they may actually have some stuff that they might not want mentioned either. Granted, I understand that in a rap battle everything is fair play, but let's be honest here. If you hit the right trigger, some people will swing on you. So in order to keep the peace, don't take it personally. Your opponent doesn't mean what he says and neither do you. It makes for a better battle when both sides are able to go back and forth with bars in good spirits. Number 6. Settle your differences in the ring. All too often an actual grudge will surface and this could be a powder keg if it's not handled right. When you have two battlers who dislike each other for some reason or another, the best course of action for you both is to take it to the ring. Violence is unfortunately a part of the hip hop scene and despite a lot of tough talk from battlers, none of them are UFC cage fighters. They're rap battlers and their disputes should be solved or at least addressed in their respective craft. I mean, what better stage to air your frustrations with a person than a sport completely devoted to that? That just seems logical, doesn't it? So if you're the host of a battle league and you know two battlers don't like each other, set up a battle. It'll, it'll be great publicity and a nice productive way to keep violence in the hip-hop scene at a minimum. Granted, the loser won't like it, but considering the pride of most battlers, they'd jump at the chance to disgrace their opponent, especially if they actually dislike them. And who knows, maybe after the battle, they'll actually become friends. It worked for Jay-Z and Nas. All I know is, building frustrations don't solve anything. The best way to handle any dispute is to dress it face to face with the person you have a dispute with and figure out some kind of solution or way of handling things. If it comes to fisticuffs, then it comes to that. But if you're a battle rapper, you should do as your name says and battle. So there you have it. Those are the six rules of battle rap. Let me know if you disagree, agree, uh, did I miss something, or did I cover it at all? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and be on the lookout for the Passwords Philly Swain Battle Review. I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah. yeah. So, I feel, I feel weird. I didn't really know how to express it in words, so I rhymed it instead. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna be a liar, they say the truth hurts. Well, then honesty kills. She told me tell her my feelings, but I said you first. Cause they gotta be real if I'm in search for the fine But I found the search, I don't get high Cause I wanna stay down to earth I should be sleeping but to the day I can't say bye Asking questions while I'm searching for the answer like AI And my time here has been mesmerizing Would it really be living if we were never dying? Every day is feeling similar, the same routine And I can't pinpoint the man that I aim to be I'll be sitting with my notepad pen open I know I got the talent but I may never get to play great Odin, it's a beautiful day So if I'm losing my way, then I'm not choosing to stay I'll just begin hoping They say impossible could never be done But is it possible that I'll be the one? So any obstacle will be overcome With every chord that has never been sung So I tell them like, eh, I know it, eh